KwaZulu-Natal, thousands of Amabuto from all over the province of KwaZulu-Natal are expected to attend the funeral of the former Amabuto, Amabuto uh, Mlandeni Nsleko leader in Nongoma. Our reporter Mlande, Mlondi Khadebe is live for us there. Mlondi, very good morning to you. No doubt a sense of melancholy at the loss of such a, a leader. Tell us more. Uh, thank you very much, Blaine. We are in Kwanongoma in Guazulu Natal at the home of Ubaba Umkiliji. Uh, that will be laid to rest today. You'll remember that Umkiliji passed away uh, this week after a short illness in hospital. But you'll remember Umkiliji will give you, it was a jovial a character that will give you a problem when you are interviewing uh, him in relation to, he will never give you a, a, a straight answer when you interviewing him in relation to the Indung also in relation to his uh, personal life. But uh, next to me is uh, his brother, Useta Mkego. Uh, Mkego, who will briefly tell us about his brother. Babu Mkego, thank you very short time. Uh, briefly about Babu Mkiliji as a family. We know that he was one of the person that was loved by the South Africans, and the, especially Amabut. Greetings to you, Mondi. Greetings to the viewers at home. Uh, it is such a sad day that we... We meet today uh, to, to, to bid farewell to Honorable Man Umtitele Mabuto Umtilezi. Basically, it's a huge loss to the family, the Wantrego. It's a huge loss to the royal household. Iga Kulgazi, Esilwen, Na Umtanoka Pindange, Na Wongo Umkandu. It's a great loss. Maybe what can you sh what the, sh the moments that you can share with us in relation to Babum Kilicha that the family will remember Babum Kilicha as the, this kind of person? Normally, we would love to, to be called, uh, to be known as the Umtidiele for a Mabuto year in Guazulu and even overseas. So we'll basically say Umtidiele. So he was a person who was very passionate about his work, his duties that was assigned to him by his late majesty, King Zeritin Kapeguzul. He was very, very, very passionate about his work. Can you just share those moments of Mbawun Kiliti growing up as a South African citizen from Bonongo, his dreams? Can you share that with us? Physically, he you, you, you was a headman. That's how all boys grow up around the era. Then later on, he went to look for jobs. And uh, later on, he started migrating to bigger cities. That's where he started developing love for sport. Like, as people know him, he was, he was, he was someone who was, who was, who was doing a uh, Kyoko Shinkai. That is correct. So, uh, he, he loved sport and uh, he loved uh, his his tradition he was, he was he was he was very proud about his origins as a zulu man as a member of the, a, of, the, of the police he was also part of the police can you tell us more about that and we did see him driving uh, the, the, the former uh, social development MEC. basically he was introduced to the uh, the zp those old days, there was Guazulu police. He was a, a reservist in the Guazulu uh, 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 police. Then later on, he was handpicked by Umdana Wawas Pete. That sent him to, uh, to do advanced driving, and he recruited him as one of his drivers. Then later on, when uh, uh, Umdana Wawas Pete passed away, he was then moved to Larry Smith, that's where he was working as a driver. Later on, he came back to work at the Zululand uh, as a driver as well, until he retired from the Zululand. And then when he retired, he, joined, he, he was now uh, more into Amabut. Tell us more about that part. When he retired, he was full-time now uh, to do his function as Umtitielo Amabut, uh, of which is one of the tutus he carried out with so much passion, with so much love, with so much respect of the Guazulu Natal uh, royal household, the Guazulu royal household.
As a father, as a husband at home, how was Baba? Very loving person. Very loving person. You will think when you hear him talking to, to, to journalists, and uh, you will think he's a, he's, a, he's a typical person. He's not. He's at home. He's a father. He's a, he's a lovely man. Yeah. So can you tell us more about what, what the, about the proceedings? Where to from here? Basically now, Amabuto, they'll be here in the next five, ten minutes. Then his body is going to be moved from home into the VIP tent. Then we start with the, with the, the funeral service. Then meet around one, two. Then he's going to be taken to his gravesite. That's, that's where he's going to be laid to rest. I would remember that uh, Obama Tlego was uh, very vocal when it comes to COVID-19. As a family, did you manage uh, to follow the protocols? What is it in relation to that? Did you uh, follow Obama Kilitsch's uh, call or did you follow the government's call? No, normally, um, normally uh, he related to his family like as a father. He, um, there, was, there was no signs that um, uh, would relate him to his functions that he's doing for the royal family or any, any other function uh, of that nature. Here, he, he was just uh, um, uh, a father uh, to his three wives, a, uh, a, a husband to his three wives, and a father to his six children. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you very much. There was Seta uh, uh, Go, the brother of the late Mkilije. You would remember that Babu Mkilije was the leader of Amabuto in Guadalupe Natal. He came to fame when he led Amabuto during the passing of our late king, Kudyol uh, Ezoliti, and he was also seen uh, leading Amabuto to Inganda when uh, the former president Jacob Zuma, there was a pressure from the Zondo Commission at the time. And that uh, placed uh, Ubabum Gilija in hot water with the royal household, and he was uh, suspended at the time by the royal household, saying that he was not... Uh, given the authority to go to that uh, function with Amabuto leading them uh, to the Nganda uh, family. But I'll just uh, step out of the shot so that Ray can show you. Uh, now the hairs is coming at uh, this side. Babu village has been taken out from uh, his home uh, to the tent where the service will be held uh, with speakers in relation to that. We did see uh, Prince Mbonisi Zulu attending uh, is inside the tent already, and you see that Amabuto are also uh, trying uh, to come uh, in their numbers into uh, this event to try and uh, bid uh, their farewell in, into Ubaba Umkiliji in the area. You remember that Ubaba Umkiliji Blaine is loved by many South Africans after the comments that he used to make. You remember sometimes you'll be asked about his level of education, and he would say that he has a great a two uh, level of education. But when you ask him about uh, the teachers, why he did not uh, continue with uh, his education, he will tell you that the teacher passed away and he was uh, not able uh, to continue. And when someone was asking whether uh, are you so now you are far as uh, as, as uh, we are far educated, he's saying, do you see, do you, don't you think that I'm near? So those kind of uh, comments that he would uh, make with the members of the media, and they're saying that uh, when you speak to the Amabutu, they're saying that that was the way uh, to protect uh, the Zulu nation because he was not supposed to be giving any details in relation uh, to what is happening with the royal house and the royal uh, news in relation to everything that is happening in Guazulu Natal. You, s you did see him in many events when uh, the Isilo Kudyozolitin will be there, and then he'll be leading Amabuto to those kind of events to try and make sure that uh, the Zulu nation is respected and also Amabuto are controlled in, in a manner that uh, they should be uh, protecting the Zulu nation. Uh, back to you, playing the studio. Mlondi, you did mention earlier on, you alluded to it when I first came to you about uh, his personality. He had a big personality. Describe for us his character. Uh, 
Blaine, you remember that you were in village at, at the time, uh, most of the time when you're trying, uh, by, by all means, as trying to get hold of uh, the news from Indugulu, he would never give you anything, any comment in relation to those kind of news. And you remember that he, he was always leading Amabuto, he was always wearing his attire during the functions of uh, the royal house or the functions of uh, the Amazulu nation in Guazul Natal to try and make sure that uh, everyone that is around the, uh, the, 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 the Guazul Natal knows that we do have Amabuto in the province, we do have the people that are protecting in Gonyama. Amabuto are taking uh, inside the coffin of Ubaba Umki uh, trying to put uh, the coffin inside the tent where the function or the funeral will uh, continue in the tent lane. Uh, you see that other Amabuto were just uh, received the news that they just gathered in Guanungoma town. They will be uh, passed uh, to uh, this uh, funeral, but uh, you see it's, it's a large number of uh, members of uh, the Zulu Royal Nation. They are trying to bid farewell uh, to their uh, leader, Ubaba Inti leader. As the leader of Amabuto in the province of Guazulu Natal, they are making sure that they bid farewell uh, to this uh, person that was loved by many and royal leader and who was taken as the commander of Amabuto in the province of Guazulu Natal. You remember that at the Babun Kulita, as I mentioned earlier, that he did uh, lead uh, the members of Amabuto into Uganda, where the former president, Jacob Zoom, was at the time had a problem with uh, the commission, uh, the Zondo commission demanding him uh, to to be arrested at the time, and Ubaba led led uh, Amabuto into uh, that event. And he did not, uh, that did not end well because he was uh, then removed from his seat as uh, Amabuto leader in the province of Kwazulu Natal. But uh, Blaine, you see that uh, the coffin is inside the tent, and the funeral service will just start in the next a few uh, minutes from now. It was just delayed uh, by about an hour, so the funeral will start in a short while.
Uh, and I will sit. Uh, the funeral will uh, start. The plane will keep you uh, will keep you posted uh, with uh, the in relation to the. had it there live for us in Kwanongoma in KwaZulu Tao for the funeral service. We're having some bit of an issues with regards to our audio there, but we'll try to reconnect with uh, Mlondi a little later on.